What's going on guys, it's Max from Otter Works. And if you're interested in photography, video, or just cameras in general, then you've probably seen videos from top level YouTubers telling you that your entry level camera kit is just as good as their 10 grand YouTube studio setup. And while the message behind what they're saying is valid and is often coming from a good place, this can be pretty misleading for people just starting out or for people looking to get into the industry. So cue me sitting here going against the grain telling you why I think gear does matter, but maybe not in the way that you'd think. So when we get started in photography and video, we spend a lot of our time, you know, thinking about how I'm going to get my hands on the Canon R5 or what 85mm lens is going to give me the best bokeh effect, for example. We see a lot of top end creators using all this high end kit. And without even realizing, we set this expectation on ourselves that without this high-end kit, we're not going to be able to create high-end content. But I would say that the main thing to focus on when you're starting out in photography and video, or even if you've been doing it for a little while, the main thing to focus on is really figuring out what it is that you want to shoot. Different answers to that question is going to require just completely different equipment. So what matters is finding the gear that's right for you. Obviously, if I'm a wildlife photographer and I specialize in highly detailed uh, close-ups of animals, then me shooting on a 16 mil lens, that lens is just not gonna work for me and my workflow. So, so many camera companies are putting out equipment now that shoots in you know, 6K or 8K. And it's getting more and more common to log into Twitter and see people bashing each other because one person's setup doesn't shoot 4K 120. But I would put the question to you, do these things really matter? Does 4K 120 really mean that you're gonna be able to create that bit of content that might get you hired? Or is that the thing that's gonna differentiate your work? Does spending the extra money to get 4K 120 in a camera matter enough to you to warrant doing that? Or would it be better to put that money into a new set of really high-end lights so that you can light your studio setup better and overall increase your production value? Dan. Yes. Does gear matter? It's, it's a really tricky one, really, and I think we've kind of learned that along the way through Otter about learning whether gear does matter or not. And I think we slowly, slowly started build, building the business and then we had like jobs would come in. We, we literally shot a 14 part documentary for the National Trust, which was which was worth to us a lot of money at the time. And we literally shot that all on the on the Canon 6D Mark II, um, on, on, literally on this rig. We would put that on that rig and we would go around all these like crazy sites for the National Trust up to Northern Ireland with a camera like this. And I shot documentaries on that. For me, the equipment is secondary after knowing the more important things about making a film. Ben, does gear matter? Does gear matter? Dan, what do we think, mate? It's not that it matters, but it, it, it gives you things. An example I would give is probably our network access storage, our NAS, Synology NAS device. It is a 60 terabyte hard drive, which has redundancy backup on the network. And that might mean nothing to you, it probably does. But what it does mean is that everyone in this room, in the office, can edit from the same hard drive, 4K footage in full with no lag because we've got 10 gig ethernet around here. And the whole setup probably is around in the room of three or four grand. It's not necessary for you to have that to edit as a team. You can do it off hard drives, but it makes everything a lot easier and it makes backing up a lot easier and faster. Is it required? No. Does it make the quality of the work better? Not necessarily. Does it make the workflow better? Yes. Is it safer? Yes. Does it make me happy? Yes. Does it make the guys happy? Yes. So it's like, does gear matter is kind of up to you, but I think long term it's the best solution and it's worth investing in. It's worth the money. Joss. Hello. Does gear matter? Um, yes and no. Okay, explain. Um, so on shoot at the minute, our main A cameras are the Canon C200, which is a cine camera, and the C70, which is this camera here. And on paper, the C200, which is the more expensive, higher end cine camera, is the better camera. But nine times out of 10, we are opting for the C70 because not only is it cheaper, which is a great, great point, but it's smaller, it's more practical. We all prefer the color and the image that we get out of it. It's a lot sharper and it's much easier to work with. But the reason we're able to get such good results out of the C70, even though it is the cheaper camera, is because we already know the fundamentals. We've invested more in lighting and sound and monitoring and all those other things 
that aren't just the camera. So we can use the cheaper, I guess, more entry-level camera and maximize everything out of that because we've already nailed all the other fundamentals. Not that the C70 is an entry-level camera, but on paper, compared to the C200 and the rest of their Cine range, it is. Um, it is the cheaper camera and on paper it should underperform compared to the C200, but it doesn't. Finding the right equipment to help you make the things that you want to make is one of the most important things that you can do as a creative. But it's so easy to get carried away in all of it, go down the rabbit hole and end up watching hours and hours and hours of camera reviews of cameras that really aren't going to provide you with much more value than the cameras that you have already. Being intentional with the equipment that you invest in and really having an in-depth knowledge of the kit that you already have will yield you much, much better results than owning a £20,000 camera rig that you don't know how to use. The main takeaway for this video is obviously gear does matter, but the basic principles of photography and videography and all of the things that come prior to spending thousands on camera equipment are the things that are going to make you a better creative. The camera kit comes second. The most important thing is to nail the foundations of photography and video and figure out what it is exactly that you want to shoot as a creative. So I put the question to you guys. Let us know in the comments below, what is it that you shoot? And if you can't answer that question, then you don't need to worry about equipment yet.